this lesson we're going to use our drawing tools to uh, to create clip art. So I'm going to go to the insert tab here and we're going to start with a basic shape. So I'm just going to use one example of several pieces of clip art that you can produce. So here I'm just going to start with a, with a basic oval. And then I'll just copy that oval. And then I'm just going to size it, make it more of a circle. I'm try and sh shape it here. So we're just using basic shapes essentially here. And it's going to create little feet. And it, since it's a foot, I want the other one to be the same. So I'm just using my control key to copy that. And you might want to color them as you go. And I can use F4 to reproduce what I just did there. And we can use shapes. Now here, I can rotate or I can flip. So I, I can just flip this way. And I got, uh, might be a little bigger than I need. There we go, we'll just give them a little beak. Right here. And then we're going to go with some more ovals. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Don't forget you got your control arrow, which is micro nudge. It allows you to nudge it just a little bit at a time. Uh, I'm going to go back to insert. If you lose your shapes, just go back to insert to see your shapes again. And now we're going to use my rotate just to rotate that a little bit. Now I want this to go to the back. So I'm just simply going to ask for it to go to the back. And then I'm going to color it black. And while I'm at it, I'm going to color him black. Then I'm going to take this exact shape and put it right here. And I'm going to rotate it again. Oh, I inadvertently forgot to leave my control key down. When you're copying, it's essential that you release your mouse first and then the control key. I'm going to rotate that and again bring it to the back. And then I'm going to want to make sure that I align these two objects. So I'm going to use my align button to align bottom. There you go. So that is proportional. And I might want to finish this guy off with maybe a little hat or something. So here I can go with maybe a rounded rectangle. And again, I'm going to want to rotate maybe a little smaller, maybe rotate that. Now, you may not have exactly the shape you're looking for, so this shape comes in very handy. Oftentimes, it's this freeform tool. And you click it once, and then every time you click, it changes directions for you. So I'm going to click once to get it started. And then if I want to change direction, I'll have to click again here. So I can start, I can click now, and now it allows me to change directions a little bit. So I can click now, and then maybe click now, and then click and click and then what you need to do you need to join it at the end so that it becomes a shape that you can actually color so now that it's a shape I can give it some color like that now you may want to uh, you may want to start grouping things I'm gonna group the whole object here because what I want to do now is I want to be able to use this as clip art down the road 
Now, unfortunately, Microsoft Word will not allow you to save this as clip art. So I'm right clicking here and I'm grouping this as one object. So now when I move one, I move the whole thing and you can size it. So if you needed to use this in a card or a greeting or a newsletter, anything, you can size that and everything stays together. So I'm going to bring him back to his original size and I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go to a program that you may be familiar with called MS Paint. It's in Accessories. And I'm going to open a brand new document in Paint. And I'm simply going to go Edit, Paste. And there's my guy, right? And now I can go to File, Save As. And here what you're going to do is, of course, you're going to place this in your documents. And I would recommend you save it as a JPEG instead. And then you'll give it your name. hit save now yours you may have a lot of white area here if you do just crop it out you'll be able to take this and move it in and crop out the white area same thing from the bottom I did, did not have a lot of white area so I'm fine so now that this has been saved I can just close this and now I can go to any document go PowerPoint document a word document anything like that and I can go to insert picture and I remember I put it in my documents and I call them Penny. So I'm looking for a document called Penny. As you see, I've done similar before. There he is. So I'm going to insert him from there. And in Bingo, I created my own clip art that I can insert into any project at any time. So remember all the tools that we use. We used F4, we used Group, we used uh, Shift in order to select more than one things. We used Control and, uh, and Drag in order to copy elements. So feel free to draw uh, whatever uh, animation that you would like. You can go on the internet and look for characters, etc. So there's your drawing uh, and saving clip art lesson.